of you who do not know, let me tell you, let me tell you about my YouTube show. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alyssa Janae, and if you're watching this, you're watching Wonderful Acts. On this channel, I talk about the wonderful acts of God who called me out of the dark into his marvelous light. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up and comment below and say, I'm a new subby and my community will welcome you. Wonder fam, if you see anybody who says new subby, show them some love. All right, y'all, I'm hype. I just talked about how God has helped me through postpartum depression as a Christian. Watch that video above. And now I'm gonna talk about how the Lord has shown me that YouTube for me, for me and my household, we will use YouTube to serve the Lord, okay? But yeah, like I get asked a lot of times about how I started my channel and some tips and I can do more on that, but I really wanna focus in this video about how YouTube for me is a ministry. I talked in the beginning of this album series about how I gained 23,000 subscribers in one month. Go watch that video. And I didn't do anything that they tell you that you're supposed to do you gotta go watch it to figure out what happened. But when my channel blew up, I did go through a season of a whole bunch of people calling me like, oh, hey girl, I see your channel blowing up. How much money you making? You gonna monetize that thing? And honestly, I promise y'all, I was well, not supposed to promise, but I wasn't making that much money and I wasn't really trying to make that much money. I didn't, I monetized my videos, but I didn't like stick a whole bunch of ads in them. Like that wasn't really my thought process for getting on here. I'm going to tell you guys how I started my channel and how I really felt like it was the Lord. <sighs> so I got to go back. So way, 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 way back in the day when I was 25. Okay. <laughs> um, but no, way back in the day, yeah, I was about 25. I was seeking God heavy, y'all. I was running hard after the Lord because he done did love me and pulled me out the pit, saved my whole life, blessed the Lord Jesus. No, but seriously, God is so good to me and I love him a lot. And I was at Google. Y'all know I worked at, I don't know if y'all know this, but I worked at CNN. I worked at Google. I worked at Radio One, all glory be to God. And at all those jobs, I was never truly satisfied. I was never truly content. And when I was at Google, I remember going to a meeting with my manager and leaving the meeting feeling really discouraged because I honestly just wasn't doing a good job. I wasn't performing well and that's what the meeting was about. And he was like, yeah, when you started, you had all this energy, you had all this passion, you know, this zeal, what happened? And I realized I just didn't like doing what I was doing. And I was, as I was walking back to my desk, I remember looking at all the other desks of the people at Google and everyone's desk was real orderly and neat and like methodical. And you popped into my desk and I had all this color and like these inspirational scriptures and quotes up. And I was just like, I am a creative, like this is not what I'm supposed to do. So I really was like seeking God heavy and like praying. And my pastor at the time had preached a message called GPS. And he basically said like, where is your grace, your passion and your skill set lie? And I started thinking like, okay, what am I graced to do? What do people say that I'm naturally good at? Like, where is my passion and where is my skill? And it all pointed back to journalism, to recording, to talking to you guys. This is before I had a YouTube channel. But like, I was like, man, like my background's in broadcast journalism. Like that's my skill. I went to school for journalism, like editing videos. That's what I know how to do. Communication, that's my skill. When I called, and this is something I recommend too. So first, if you want to do this, this is a good idea, right? What are your skills? Like what have you been trained to do? Grace, what are you graced to do? So that means like what comes naturally? You might call up your mom or your dad or your brother, or your sister or your best friend from childhood. And I called up these people and I text them and I said, hey, what, what's the number one thing you think I'm good at? And across the board, everyone was like, Alyssa, you're good at talking. You're good at communication. Like my dad told me, like I've been talking since I came out the womb practically. My friends would tell me, girl, you are so good at communicating the gospel. And this is not to boast to me because I know that you have your own grace. Okay, don't be modest. You know, people were like, this is what you're good at. This is what just comes naturally. This is what you're graced in. And so I'm like, okay, my grace is communication and talking. My skill set is broadcast journalism. Okay, okay, so I can talk on TV, but what am I going to talk about? And that's where passion, right? Like some people might be passionate about food. Some people might be passionate about travel. Mind you, I love both of those things, but the number one passion of my life is my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I can talk about him all day long. And I want to talk about him all day long. When I was at CNN, we were talking about politics and I just wanted to talk about Jesus. I wanted to talk about his goodness and his love because I 
firmly believe that he is the answer to every single problem in our lives is Jesus Christ. He can solve anything. He's like the superhero. He will save the day. He's coming back to wipe every tear from our eye. Y'all know I can preach. But so my passion is Jesus. And so I'm like, okay, so how can I talk about Jesus using my broadcast journalism skills? And at the time, I wasn't on no Christian TV show. <laughs> I was at Google. So I was like, well, and actually the Google um, subdivision, I guess, or, or di division, not subdivision, the Google division that I work for was over YouTube ad reserves. So YouTube ads. So I, and, and there was this big book about YouTube influencers. And I was like, yo, so I had this idea. One day I went to this coffee shop. I sat down, I wrote everything down and I felt like the Holy Spirit said, YouTube like I could do a YouTube and I could talk about the wonderful acts of God who called me out of darkness into his marvelous light and that scripture comes from I think I shared this in my um uh call to ministry video so you can go watch that video here but that scripture had also been given to me it's first Peter 2 9 as to one of the reasons why God chose me was so I could tell people about him so to me all this lined up and all this sounded great but there's more. That night, after I had wrote it down on a sheet of paper, writing my grace, passions, and skills, I went to my friend's engagement dinner that she was having. Or was it? No, sorry. It was her graduation party. She was having a graduation dinner, but she had got proposed to the same day, so it kind of was like an engagement party. Anyways, we were sitting at the table, and I was with my fiance. I don't think we were married yet. We are, I don't think so. No, we were mm, yeah, no, we were engaged at the time and we were sitting there and we were telling our story about how we got engaged or something or how we met or how we fell in love. I don't know. We we're telling somebody one of the stories at the table and the chick sitting next to me at the end of it, she told me she was just like, girl, I just feel like the Lord wants me to tell you like whatever you feel called to do, just do it. Like just open up your mouth and share and or something along those lines and it was like confirmation and if y'all know my, how god gave me my apartment video all my videos like confirmation is really one of those ways the lord just speaks to you if you want to know how god speaks watch how to hear god's voice video but it was just like confirmation and it was like all right that's a wrap like literally he told me through her just open up your mouth and speak so and I remember when I went to actually start recording my first video I was like so nervous y'all y'all go back and watch that video <laughs> but I was so nervous and really I had to watch like Stephen Furtick Elevation Church to like hype me up it was like my personal hype man y'all know Stephen Furtick be hyping folks up and I prayed and I was speaking in tongues and boosting myself up and just praying out to the Lord and he filled me up and I, I still try to do this to this day did this before this video and um thank you Jesus and not to boast y'all I'm boasting in Christ I want you to know Jesus Christ but anyways I prayed in the spirit filled me up and just started doing my videos just started opening up my mouth and sharing and my first video I think I did it in like one take like there's no editing cuts like I literally had told that story a thousand times so now I was just telling it on camera to you beautiful people so all that to say this video is kind of long-winded and going roundabout but again when people were asking me after I blew up like to monetize and make it a business I definitely if I'm being honest I was getting caught up I was getting caught up in like the branding and the marketing and this and that and am I I could sell books and if I sell this many books for this many dollars I can make all this money and <laughs> But I knew that wasn't Jesus and money is something that the enemy just dangles in front of me like a little carrot. And as y'all know, the Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil, not money, but the love of money. And Jesus even said, you can't serve two masters. Uh, you can't serve God and mammon. Either you're going to love the one or hate the other. And so it really was kind of that pull of like, all right, am I doing this for the money or am I doing this for the Lord Jesus? And I definitely feel like I got off track a little bit. I'm confused confessing this to you guys to my channel to my subscribers who have been here from the get-go like I feel like I got off track like the Lord not the Lord the enemy was kind of like shaking me up and maybe the Lord too was testing my heart um you know but just like really trying to figure out like 
what am I doing this for? What is my end goal? What do I want? And I feel like it's taken time. It's taken some years. And that's honestly why you guys haven't really seen me posting that many videos because it's been something that I've been internally like wrestling with and trying to figure out and doubting myself and going through the depression and again, adjusting to life as a mom and as a wife and trying to make sure that my home life is taken care of because for me, it, you know, if I'm telling the world about Jesus, but my kids don't know Jesus, then I'm a failure, right? Like my kids need to know Christ. And that's really where my heart is. And I'm not a perfect mom and I'm not a perfect wife, but God is helping me and his grace is sufficient for me. So I'm trusting in him to make me into who he's called me to be. That being said, I want you guys to know that YouTube to me is a calling and it's a ministry. And I'm here to share about the wonderful acts of God for his glory. So I'm gonna be doing some new things in this next season. Do not be alarmed. They are truly for the glory of Christ. And I'm gonna to continue to pray for myself. Lord, help me, Jesus. Let my motives be pure. Y'all pray for me too. I want this channel to blow up because I want more people to know about his goodness, but not for my sake, for his sake, even though I wouldn't mind blowing up as well, if I'm honest. But y'all know, just, just let my heart be in a good place. So yeah, so for me, y'all, YouTube is a calling. YouTube is a ministry. I don't think that every Christian YouTuber views it that way because some of them don't. I've talked to some who that's just not their MO. And even trying to collab with YouTubers, like, I mean, I want to do collabs. I love my fellow Christian YouTubers, uh, but people have different motives. And the Bible even says only the Lord can weigh the motives of the heart. But again, for me and my household, Wonder Fam say what? We will serve the Lord. I'm just a mouthpiece telling y'all the goodness of God. So comment down below and say, we will serve the Lord if you are with me on this thing. If you're new to the channel, again, make sure you subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you know when the next video comes. And I'm gonna tell you guys how that little dangly carrot, that love for money that the enemy loves to tempt me with led me to do real estate. And I shared a video about that a while ago. Um, but next video, I'm going to share about how and why I stopped pursuing real estate. So stay tuned. The rose view, I told you, confused, but I choose I see for me, for me.